I don't even know where to intro this. I don't know where to start with this. Um, this is an amazing episode, but at the same time, wow. I guess there's only one thing to say, and that's to me, my know-it-alls, because you do not want to miss this episode of Mr. Know-It-All. We're going to review X-Men 97's fifth episode titled very simply, Remember It, and you will. What's up, my know-it-alls? Wow, it is another Wednesday morning, which means that uh, X-Men 97 dropped its most recent episode, and that episode was unbelievable. Let's jump right into it. They pack so much into this 30 minutes. It's 20, it's like 28 or something stupid like that. It's ridiculous. And there's so much that happens in this thing that I'm almost like really struggling to keep up with it. My notes almost look like a crazy person. So... The episode starts very plainly. Specifically, we start on a news report. It's Trish Tilby, whatever. And they are being interviewed and people are there. And it's all because they're the heroes and whatever else and all this other stuff. And so everyone's kind of having their moments and whatnot. Um, that This is the least important aspect, but kind of. Everyone's being interviewed for various things. Uh, Beast is there, obviously. Scott's there. Uh, and then that dovetails into Scott having sort of a freak out where he lashes out. And then he, in whatnot, the others have been called to Genosha. The X-Men have been invited to Genosha because Genosha has been, has, has officially been recognized by the UN, has joined the UN as in, has been ratified as a nation, but they wanted the, so they invite the X-Men and that's, so that's sort of where the thing splits off. So Cyclops and Cyclops, Wolverine, Beast are, are there in, are here back in Westchester at the Manor being interviewed and dealing with the news. And the others are, uh, Magneto, uh, uh, Magneto Rogue. Gambit uh, are all on the Blackbird heading to Genosha. And so literally there's two sides of the story. On the Scott side of it, Scott lashes out. He gets really upset. He's frustrated about some things. He's dealing with a whole lot of stuff and that comes out. And you find out that he's been... So we cut to... You go back to Genosha, you come back. I'm going to get this whole Scott thing out of the way so we can get back into the big part. He has the... After his freak out... He's talking to what looks like Gene about Nathan and about the trauma they're feeling, only to suddenly be interrupted by Gene. Gene, if you'll excuse us, Madeline. Scott's been through the mental rapport that him and Gene share, which now Madeline and him share. She's, uh, he's sort of been, I guess you could say the equivalent of, I guess, I guess you call it emotional cheating. I don't know. How do you cheat with the mother of your child, your child? I don't know. And so there's a whole thing going on. At one point, Wolverine confronts, um, the real Jean. She's at the, she's at a lake and she's practicing her powers and stuff. And she actually kisses him. She's frustrated because Scott's clearly putting up mental blocks and stuff against her. There's a lot of things happening. And ultimately, he's like, hey, just make sure it's all about, you know, go make, remember your Boy Scout, go make it up to him, whatever else. Okay, we're going to stop there. Go to Genosha. Genosha is, is, is like Wakanda in Black Panther. Genosha is exciting. It's happy. There's people back and forth. It's wonderfully, it, I, and I, it's an idyllic scenario, especially where mutants are concerned. And... Magneto's been invited to go talk to their council. The council invites him to be chancellor, their version of, I guess, a king, whatever else. He would kind of be a figurehead leader, but at the same time, he would actually be the leader, uh, administrative leader. And he says he'll do it on one condition. He wants Rogue to be his queen. Rogue's upset at first. And then we get Rogue's full backstory because Rogue has to tell Gambit. So she goes to meet Gambit. And they have a conversation and she, we get the full backstory. You get Rogue in her old outfit. They don't do her crazy old hair hair back in the day, which is good. I'm glad they didn't do that. Uh, but it's her outfit. It's the, the solid green one with the black and whatnot. It's from the comic books. In this whole scenario, they're having a conversation and she explains to him that, you know, it's, it's more than, it's more than just, it's more than just skin deep, if you will. And, and she ultimately, he's like, all right, no problem. Well, until this whole thing is whatever else, we're just, I guess we're just gonna be friends. We're just, just, I'm content just to be friends with you and it's fine. Then we have a very interesting thing. So we cut to the actual main party, and this is where the episode, this is where the episode episodes, 
first, we get to see the sky above Genosha with fireworks. In that, there's a hidden image. Blink and you'll miss it. The Watcher is watching over events. That should have been the first thing to tell me that something was going to go down. But I didn't think about it. It was unreal. And so we go down and you get to see Magneto make a grand entrance. And uh, uh, what's your name? Uh, the, the lady from the UN is all kinds of upset because they've put a, a terrorist in charge or whatever else. Rogue shows up. And him and Rogue have this beautiful, right, just there you go right there. They have this beautiful dance in the sky and the whole bit. And they even kiss in the whole nine yards. And Rogue essentially tells him, listen, I'm really sorry. Um, Gambit's right. There's so much more than to all this stuff. And it you find out that... But Renny was right. Some things are deeper than skin. Rogue rejects Magnus. The assumption is for Remy. That's when all hell breaks loose. Amidst the fireworks, there's an explosion. The entire, right as Rogue is breaking up, not even breaking up because they weren't even together, right as Rogue is telling Eric that that's not going to happen, there's this massive green explosion. Uh, Nightcrawler, who by the way was in this episode, Nightcrawler, wonderful, uh, Kurt, the, the actor, the voice actor who plays him, does a wonderful job, and he harkens back to the old series. They're being attacked by some sort of master mold. It's a three-headed master mold that's just decimating Genosha. A lot of this has shades of some of the different story. They, they, I think, I feel like they've melded a few different storylines in this thing. It's a, it's a wreck. Nightcrawler barely say rescues uh, Magneto and Rogue and Gambit. Uh, Magneto goes to 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 fight. The Morlocks are trapped, so he sends Rogue and, and Gambit to go save them. Uh, and he, meanwhile, he's going to keep Master Mold busy. And it is an unrelenting, unbelievable fight. Magneto at one point picks up a train and uses it like a whip, like just got blunt out, just wham, just hitting this thing with it. Uh, and then and and Gambit and Rogue have the most amazing moment where they're just like, boom, nothing can stop them. Nothing can stop them. Rogue is just decimating everything she hits. Gambit's doing the same. They manage to rescue the Morlocks until Magneto suddenly is thrown nearby. Uh, he puts up a shield to protect the Morlocks as the Master Mold just begins shooting at his area with this massive uh, energy. And you see at one point, it's he uses a little bit of his power to protect Rogue and Gambit and seal them off in a big metal thing. The little Morlock kid is right in front of him and he said, he says in German, Hab keine Angst. He, he speaks to him in German and says, it's, you know, it, it, be brave or it'll be okay or it's all going to be over soon. Something, and it's just, it was amazing. Um, and when it's all said and done, um, Genosha has left a shell of itself. And the X-Men, Scott and them, see that something has happened. To say nothing of the fact that, um, to say nothing of the fact that at the very last moment, Gambit runs is running toward Master Mold and he is doing an amazing job and he gets pierced in the side. And then he charges up the whole thing and blows it all to hell. This is an amazing episode and I think it's appropriately titled because you will absolutely remember it. So there you go. Now you know. And if knowing is half the battle, you're halfway to being a know-it-all yourself. What's an auto-linux for this episode? Um, I mean, really? This episode is amazing. This episode is... Uh, every single episode continues to hit on all cylinders. It is just amazing. You see... You have everything from Magneto and his conviction bred from Nazi Germany and being a surviving uh, survivor of the Holocaust 
to to sudden to seeing Rogue and Gambit. Well, they won't. They Rogue finally making a decision. You the Watcher was present for it. Uh, the just everything happening and it's unrelenting and unbelievable. Uh, I'm uh, I'm I'm giving this episode a solid ten out of ten. So comment below. Were you shocked and stunned by everything this episode had? Oh, oh, wait. Before anything else, don't forget. At one point, Cable shows up. Cable shows up. And Madeline is able to look him in the eye. And right before he's about to body slide because his timer goes off, she realizes it's him. And he says, I'm sorry for what... I'm sorry, mother. And he... I assume goes back to the future or whatever. Uh, there are so much happening here. Gene and Madeline are having something happening with their brains. Uh, we get to see Emma Frost and we get to see the uh, Shaw from the Hellfire Club. We get to who's that also in charge. I mean, Nightcrawler in this episode. There's just so many. You get to see Jamie Madrox and you get to see Archangel and you get to see just everybody. At one point, I, I'm pretty sure we got to see uh, we got to see Exodus, which was awesome. And he's just, he's a dancing fool. If you haven't caught up with any of this stuff, do me a big favor. Don't forget, check out this video right over here. This is the playlist with all the other X-Men episodes. You're gonna love it, I swear. Uh, subscribe to the channel for sure. Until next time, never forget, everyone loves a know-it-all.